Ladies and gentlemen, come gather around, come gather around, come gather around. Today, we're back on the PTSD Cruiser because there's a couple dash lights that are out. Uh, my kid's learning how to drive in this little turd and it's kind of nice to see like how fast you're going or something. I'm showing you the tools before I get into the job, but I actually did the job and now I'm showing you the tools I used. Ha! Tools you're going to need, or at least the tools that I'm probably going to need. Phillips screwdriver for sure, that's going to be useful. I also use this door panel puller offinator. If you don't have one of these, definitely a handy tool to get. You don't really need this feature, but being bent got it in to get the top of the dashboard. We'll get into the top of the dashboard to get it off. Also, I use a screwdriver that looks like this. Not for pulling any screws out, but it was just kind of neat to get in there, hook something and pull with my fingers. That was kind of handy as that. This cool pair of pliers, which I've had for years, didn't do a very good job of holding anything other than jamming it under the dashboard, or will be jammed under the dashboard, uh, just to wedge the dashboard up a little bit. Uh, it wedges more, the more you crack it. You could use anything that I thought these would be useful. They were actually not useful because they couldn't get in to undo the light bulb holder indonators except for these pliers could. These are just your ordinary slip joint pliers. They work dandy for that. So not a complex amount of tools. That's about it. And there's six light bulbs inside there that you may want to change. So buy six, expecting to do seven. Oh, I also forgot about the putty knife, which was handy in getting the power window switch out uh, of its little obstacle there. You could probably use a flat blade screwdriver. I like this one because I break things less. Centerpiece pops down, falls by your feet. Two screws in this side panel. I recommend giving it a good enough yank that it comes right off. It's held partly by the rubber door seal. There are the knobs for the heater controls pop off easily. Putty knife pulls out the power window switches. Safety connector in there that needs two hands, sorry. There's one screw in the top of the whole center piece. Then give it a tug, it all falls out. There's two screws, one on either side that hold the top of the dashboard together and onto the dash. So you gotta pull that apart, pry the mother loving snot out of it wherever you can and try not to break anything. This dash is in pretty sad shape. So uh, it became easier to detach the more it cracked. Don't tell my son. But getting in there and trying to find all the clips and the leading edge of the dashboard, it kind of has to push into the spaces around the bezels. You kind of got to pull the thing towards you to detach it and up. And there just really isn't enough space for that. So prepare to break something. Little metal clips are going to fall off and fall on the floor or in the dash. And you may never, ever see them again. So be prepared for that. Once you get it most of the way out, the tubing for this left-hand duct is a real bugger to get out of there. But once you do, there it is. Four screws hold the gauge cluster into the dashboard, and then the whole thing just pops right out. It's new school. There's no, no uh, uh, cables, like Speedo cables. It's all digital, so it works pretty good. So the bulbs are just LLB2s, or I think number 74s. Depends on what kind of numbers you want. And they just press into these little clips. So when you take the bulb out and it looks kind of like it's been a little frizzled on the inside, or even if the whole thing looks like chrome, that means it's gone. So you pull them out, push in the new ones. There were four bulbs that were shot on this cluster. Uh, so it's a whole lot better now. They're just quarter turn. Don't take a whole lot of effort. And while you're tempted to reef on them really hard with a pair of pliers, resist that temptation and just gently send them home so you don't shear them off and then have to get the broken piece out of there. That would suck. I thankfully bought four bulbs uh, and had two that were still okay. I probably should have bought more. Checking the lights and go, hmm, I think there's one that's not quite lit up. So we fixed that one as well. I don't know what the idiot light bulbs are or the check engine light bulb, if it's the same bulb or an LED inside. I don't know. They were all working enough that I didn't bother looking. And then four screws around the outside, around the outside, around the outside. And you don't have to freaking kill these. Just snug them. Metal screws and plastic tabs uh, expand and contract at different rates. You'll split the plastic if you reef it up so tight. Then you just try to shove everything back in. Um, a little bit of annoyance, you got to kind of pull the top of the dashboard towards you so you can hook the tab in underneath. 
I either broke one or one was already broken. I did see some evidence that someone's been in here before, but we're in here now. So lucky, lucky us. And uh, basically just trying to argue and push and get all those tabs into the right place. Once it all snaps in, you can start getting the dash pad and all the other covers and everything on. I think I lost a few little metal clips. Most of them ended up on the floor and I was able to put them back where they belong. And uh, just argue with it. Total time, 28 minutes. Not bad, not bad. And I've never done this before. So everything just kind of snaps together and it's sort of all held together by everything holding itself all together. It just, just seems hokey. Two screws again on that left side panel and the bottom guy slips up, snaps into place with a smack. Two screws on either side of the center. Put the console part in. Console, bezel, one screw at the top, snap in the switch. There we go. Boom. Easy peasy. And all the little knobs go back into place on the heater controls. And then uh, there you are, man. Bulbs. Cool beans. Tidy up. Call her good. So I confess I did look up a YouTube video on how to do this. And it was actually, it looked like horrible. They put it like a scale on one to ten. It was like a ten for misery. This didn't really take all that long. Uh, it wasn't pleasant. And if you've got a beautifully sun-baked dashboard, it's probably gonna be less pleasant. But the more stuff that breaks off, the easier it is to put it back together. But we got dash lights going on now, and I'm thankful I don't have to go in there for a little while. So, there we are. So if you have the joyous misfortune of having to do one of these, rest assured, it's not as awful as you think it's gonna be. So, thanks for watching, take care. We'll see you again.